Have you ever had to recreate a PDF form from scratch or write by hand into a pre-printed hard copy form? If so, you probably know what a time drain this can be. With PowerPDF, you now have the ability to make any form fillable using Nuance's state-of-the-art form typer feature. With this tool, you can easily convert static forms into readily usable fillable forms, letting you simply click a field in a PDF to enter data. Let's imagine you just received a static PDF like the one shown here. As you can see, I'm unable to click on or enter any information in any of the fields. We'll use Power PDF to analyze our static PDF form and create the needed fields in a dynamic, fillable form. With our form open in Power PDF, simply go to the Forms tab and select Form Typer from the ribbon toolbar. Power PDF goes to work processing your static PDF into a dynamic form. When finished, our document displays, and you'll see this message window indicating that interactive form fields were found. To see where they're located, click the Highlight Fields button. Notice the highlighted fields here. You'll also see that radio buttons and checkboxes are also interactive. We now have a reusable, standard, fillable PDF form that can be filled in with Power PDF or other PDF products. When needed, Power PDF can offer added control over individual form input fields. Creating interactive forms from static PDFs is a great way to create templates that can be used over and over again. We'll save our new document as a template by opening the File tab, selecting Save As from the menu, and from the Save As window, typing a new file name for our document. I'll name my template PTX Template 01. Click the Save button to complete the task. Another useful feature allows you to reset form fields if we wanted to delete all the information that's been entered and start over with a clean form. If you are the recipient of the form, you have the ability to quickly and easily fill out the form then save it and deliver it. Now let's say that you just received a fill-in PDF form. Power PDF makes it easy for you to extract the form data into a variety of file formats for further analysis including FDF, XFDF, XML, and TXT. We can do this through the process of importing and exporting form data, and we'll now explore that. Data entered in a form can be saved without saving form fields themselves, and then repeatedly used to fill in other forms. This can be useful for speeding up the process of filling forms by automatically entering a data set that is common for a significant number of forms. The process includes exporting data of filled forms to be saved in special file types and then importing such files to fill empty forms. Valid file types are FDF, XFDF, XML, and TXT. These can be handled by many PDF editors. They store not only the form data, but also information on the number and types of controls within the form. To export form data from a single open filled form, choose the Forms tab, then Import Export Data, and from the menu, Export Form Data. When the Export Form Data as dialog box opens, specify the name and the file type. Click Save. Your data is stored at the defined location and file type. Now let's take a look at how to import the form data we just saved in a new unfilled form. We'll begin by opening an empty form. Now I'll select the Forms tab. Click the Import Export Data icon from the ribbon toolbar, then select Import Form Data from the menu. In the Select File Containing Form Data dialog box, Choose a file type from the pull-down menu. Choices include FDF, XFDF, XML, and TXT. In our example, we'll use the FDF we just saved. Now browse to the file containing the data. Open the file by either double-clicking it, or you can click to select it, then press the Open button. Our form is now populated with the information stored in our data file. As long as the chosen file contains form control descriptions and data that are suitable and match the current form, 
the data will be inserted into the proper fields. Now let's talk about exporting data from multiple forms. Data can be exported from multiple forms with the same data field sets to the file types XML and CSV, or comma separated values. These file types can be opened by Excel or similar spreadsheet programs. Each form is represented by a row and each form field by a column. The field labels in the forms become the header row texts for the spreadsheet columns. All form field types can be handled except signature fields. This export is available even if no PDF file is loaded. Any open files are not included. To export data from multiple forms, we'll begin by selecting the Forms tab, then clicking the Import Export Data icon from the ribbon. From the menu, select the Export Form Data from Multiple Forms. From the pop-up window, click the Add Files button, then select the desired files from a folder. In this example, I will choose the files Filled Form 1, 2, and 3. I could add them one at a time, but a handy shortcut is to hold down the control key on the keyboard as I select the files. Each file will highlight, and I can then click Open to add them all at once. My files are now added to the window. I can use the Add and Remove buttons in case I need to adjust my file list. I could also select the check mark Include Most Recent List of Files to Export From to have all the forms from the last exporting session added to the list. I will now click Export, then specify the output folder, file name, and type, CSV or XML. In this example, I will choose CSV. Once I click Save, the export file is created and an export progress window displays. Click the View File Now if you wish to see the result displayed in your spreadsheet program. You can rename column header text as desired, which is something you might need to do for checkmark or radio button fields. I'll now save my file by selecting the File tab and choosing Save As from the menu. I'll choose a suitable file type, for example Excel Workbook, and select Save to complete the task. To export efficiently, you should make sure that all forms have the same set of field names. Multi-page forms can be processed. One PDF file per form is recommended, but a single PDF containing a set of assembled forms is also acceptable, provided that the form field sets are identical. If there are field differences between forms, all non-identical field names generate columns in the output table. All fields in the resulting table have a generic cell type that accepts any input. Use your spreadsheet program to set other cell types such as date, currency, numbers only, and so on. As you've now seen, having the ability to work with any kind of form is quick and easy with PowerPDF's Form Typer and the Forms tools.